Hello everyone, Mark Hogan uh, here with you and uh, I want to do another video on uh, geo masking or mask geo uh, for the terrain mixer and uh, before I start of course I just want to mention that uh, all the updates and all the future updates uh, are totally free for bunica.net members with blue and alpha membership and of course you can get the uh, tool on Gumroad or Blender Market. So, for those who are new to Terrain Mixer, uh, when you open uh, the Blender file, you'll probably see something like this. And what you have to do is just click this uh, button uh, for the viewport shading uh, to have like a rendered mode uh, enabled. So you, you can have a rendered preview uh, inside the viewport. Of course, we're talking about cycles here. Uh, now, here, this uh, terrain mixer workspace, this first one, uh, is mainly used to uh, do the mixing. So, if you want to work with nodes, uh, you would go here, or here, or here, or to this last uh, uh, workspace edit, which is uh, made for uh, mask geo but you can work uh, wherever you want so I just uh, uh, added a bunch of windows here so it's easier to you for you to uh, go directly to the nodes that, that control uh, mask geo so um, but let's start, let's start here I want to show you uh, how different inputs for mask geo can affect uh, your uh, uh, workflow so First, I want to check my inputs here. So, uh, as you can see here, this uh, C slider says uh, age mix one, two, three, four. This means that it controls the mix of all four inputs. So, if I would do this and move it all the way to the left, I would see the input uh, one and two, which are defined here. And if I would move it all the way to the right, I would see the inputs uh, three and four. Uh, which are defined uh, here. So, so, so let's move it all the way to the left, and let's see what the input uh, one looks like. So, this slider for mix of input one and two, I will move it all the way to the left to see what uh, does the input one look like. Okay, and then I'll go back to the this C mix and move it all the way to the right. And then go to the uh, mix to the B mix uh, of uh, three and four and see what the input three looks like. So this means that I'll move this slider all the way to the left. Okay, so this is the mix three, or this is actually the uh, height source three. This is how it looked like. Of course, I can go to the input three switch and change the height source. So for example, if I go here, move it all the way to the right, I will see how the second uh, height source looks for the input 3 but I wanna keep this uh, the mountain that we had so move it back to zero okay so now I know that my input uh, 3 looks like this and that my input uh, uh, 1 looks like this let's move this back to zero so this is input one. Now I want to use the mask geo to reveal uh, the input three uh, where I want it to be revealed. So for that I would go to the terrain mixer plus mask geo nodes. Uh, again, enable the viewport rendering. And then what I would do, I would go here To see my uh, mask geo objects, I will disable the sphere and the plane. And now I have to go here, mask geo, and connect it here. So you see. Now, uh, if this confuses you, uh, as I said before, you can go here and uh, this is the same node tree so what i did i just 
plug this here so it was like this then I plug this so now the ju mass geo is enabled now let's go back here now uh, I want to rotate this uh, curve so I will select the mass curve geo not the mass curve the mass curve geo and rotate it on the z-axis and do something like this okay now what I can also do if I go back here because this has a, a larger uh, render viewport uh, what, what I can also do when I select the terrain again I will have this revealed now I can go down here to the mask settings we have two for now uh, I can control the blending so you see and all the way to 17 and I but I, what I can also do is I can control the power so you see here okay now I'm going to define um, which part of the which uh, source uh, height source is being revealed as I mentioned before I want it to be this uh, input 3 so I can go for example here and where is it okay I can go here and plug it plug this input 3 here or what I can do is maybe even plug this here so let's just check if we have that mountain there it's here now the problem is I can't do much with it because uh, I have plugged the height uh, the height uh, information which is defined by the height map directly into the uh, mask geo so this means if I would wanna for example do this uh, let's say where is input 3 for example if I would want to clip the input 3 I wouldn't be able to do it so for example if I want to clip the 3 from the top you see nothing is changing nothing is changing so what I want to do I want to come here and I want to change the source so instead of uh, plugging this input 3 or height map 5 or height map 6 that usually define the input 3 I can go all the way here you see that we have mix uh, 1 and 2 and mix 3 and uh, 4 exposed which are not used in the in this uh, node 3 usually but you can use it so for example if I would plug this 3 and 4 all the way to here and go back here Now if I go to the clipping, where is it, uh, input 3, clip top, you see, now you see what is happening. And of course now when you did that you can go back all the way to the to the mix three and four and uh, actually no you wouldn't want to do that but what you can do is you can go to the input three uh, switch if you want to switch between the sources height map source so you see because now this clipping is also applied to any of the height map sources for the input 3. Uh, wrong source, okay. Now, of course, since you have the mask geo, which is controlled, which is defined by the geometry, you can also rotate the geometry extend the uh, scale whatever you want to do you can even go into edit mode of the curve and change the curve but for now i just uh, 
want to rotate it, for example, let me see. Let me start from this. So it's really, really, really easy uh, to control it. Uh, what we can also do, let's go here and change the mask geo, for example, mask sphere. And the same thing, we just uh, want to hide now the curve and the mask curve geo and see how the sphere looks like. And same thing, we just grab the sphere and do whatever you want, you know, reveal any, any part of the terrain beneath this uh, terrain which is defined by the input one so let's let's select the mask sphere and maybe go down a bit on the z-axis so you see you have this kind of old uh, volcano or something like that maybe uh, see it from the terrain mixer viewport my uh, graphic card is really weak it's 1080 Ti so uh, I experience uh, a bit of lag but it's <laughs> really useful for me because I can uh, uh, test the terrain mixer so I'm sure that it will work uh, on uh, stronger cards as well. So this is it. And uh, of course, regarding the geometry, you can uh, apply any geometry. So if I go here and make the terrain mask geo visible again, I can also uh, change the object and what I would do there are of course many ways uh, that you can do it but the best way for me is uh, to go into the edit mode of the existing object so uh, what I would do I would make a copy of this mask sphere duplicate it you know shift D duplicate then go to the this simple geometry node setup uh, change the source to it would be called mask sphere one of course but you can rename it any way you want and then select it go into edit mode select everything and you can either edit it here or just delete it and add new object and for example scale it I don't know, like, like so and now you can, uh, you know, move it uh, or scale it in, I don't know, like kicks axis like this, get something like this. You, know, you can select uh, any of the polygons, of course. Uh, and maybe even add a few slices, like so. Maybe even extrude it. Like so. So this, you can really, you know, do whatever you want. So okay. I hope this uh, was helpful. If you have any questions, please. Uh, uh, write a comment below the video and uh, talk soon.